Hello community! Plan T5 and now the XL version. Because last time we ended with the large version, but now they have a new version and a new update and now we can run on a free Google Colab notebook the XL version. And this is my preferred large language model. Why? Because it's free. It is open source. We can optimize it. We can play with it. And you might say, what about GPT-4 and chat GPT professional? Beautiful. Everything will come out in 2023. And if you have deep financial pockets, go for it. Of course, it is fun. But for those who like open source and free, I will show you what happened since my last video, the latest update and how you can run Flan T5 XL on a free notebook. So I would say, let's just jump right into it. The publication itself. It happened in December 2022. And Google said scaling instruction fine-tuned language models. And it was more or less about the new Flan Palm 540 billion parameter model. By the way, they say, okay, we just released the Flan T5. And we are gonna focus here on the Flan T5, which we can run in some way on a Colab notebook, but for a Palm. 540 billion parameter, so half a trillion parameter model, you have to connect to Google Services Cloud. So here we go. First, what we do, yeah, we just say display and do some multiprocessing. I mean, just to give you an idea, we have a CPU with two cores, just to show you what we can run on a large language model if you compare this to some really professional models where you have a whole uh, TPU or GPU cluster running in the background. So we have two CPU cores. We should have a GPU runtime. Yes, beautiful. And how do we start? We start as we always start. We install our transformer from Hugging Face. Then we need something else. We need some accelerate, some bits and bytes, some sentence piece. We just do this also. And then we tell the system, hey, I hope I have my GPU up and ready. Beautiful. Now then comes the moment where you have to choose. Go, do we go with a full resolution floating point 32 or go with floating point 16? Now we are brave here and I told you we try here Flan T5 XL. So we go in our first attempt with the full floating point 32. So let's see what happens. Now, the model itself, of course, is a little bit bigger. You can see it's about close to 10 gigabytes here. If you remember, my uh, large model was about 3.3 gigabytes. So the jump from large to XL has a 300% increase in our size. So while this is loading, I would like to show you here, of course, if you go to Hugging Face, from, of course, from Google, Flan T5 XL, you have here the model card and they tell you everything, everything beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then, of course, they tell you here you have a hosted inference API. And here you can choose just a translation task. Translate German, my name is Arthur. Hello, yes. And then you have a question task. Please answer the following question. Who is going to be the next whatever? You have some logical reasoning where you have a question with a queue and a question mark and give the rational before answering. So you ask the system to explain itself more or less. You can have some scientific, please answer the following question. What is the boiling point of nitrogen? So you see, you have a lot of things you can ask for. This is of course not in the complexity like a chat GPT, where you have this reinforcement learning from human feedback missing in this particular PPO. But hey, we are just looking for normal system that we can run here on a free Colab notebook or maybe on your laptop. So as you can see, we still have about four gigabytes to go. Yeah, what I wanted to show you is, no, we can do a first run here with translation. Yeah, translation is too, too simple question. Come on. Logical reasoning. So you have a question. Can Jeffrey Hinton, our very first uh, artificial intelligence 
have a conversation with George Washington. Give the rationale behind your answering. And then you say, compute. And you're running here on hugging face. I don't know. Something beautiful. Ah, here. Intel Xeon. And it tells you George Washington died in 1799. And Geoffrey Hinton was born in 1924. So you say, yeah, okay. So output died. Where's the output? So nothing. Because this is here and with this free hosted system, they are limited to more or less exactly one line, which is gorgeous if you want to do this. So this is the reason why we decided to program it here on our free Colab notebook. And I will show you how we can put out all the stops and we can fine tune our system to an answer with thousand words or whatever you like. So here we go. We are still downloading. Here we have our 10 gigabytes, now another uh, two gigabytes. I should have maybe a look. System RAM looks good. GPU RAM flatlining, beautiful. It will change within seconds, believe me. We will go absolutely on the ceiling with this system. So let's start with the first one. This was also in the publication here, just to show you here. There was uh, this question, hey, can Geoffrey Hinton have a conversation with Washington? Give the rationale behind the answering. We do now exactly this. We have here now my question. Hey, can Geoffrey Everest Hinton have a conversation with George Washington? Give the rationale behind the answering. So this will be my text, but at first we have to wait for our T5 for conditional generation from our preloaded flying T5XL system to load. Wow, this was close. You see here the RAM, the system RAM already spiked. I think we have 12 gigabyte RAM. Where is it? What do we have? We have 12 gigabyte disk. Yeah. So here we go. And then we can have this question. And this is our task. And now we just feed it here in our tokenizer. We say beautiful. We run it on, of course, on our GPU. And then we have our, here our model defined. And then we generate our answer. And as you can see here, normally, whatever you see is here input. And now these are here my parameters that I played around. I integrated here. And I showed you last time that the system is able that you can tune it in unbelievable ways. So at first I thought the minimum length should be 20, the maximum length 600 tokens, length penalty, the number of beam, beam search, I want to have some n-gram search. I want to have some temperature reading. Top k, top p. I showed you in my last video. I have a penalty for repetition and so on. So now let's see if this system is able, without spiking in GPU RAM or crashing with system RAM. And here we are. So the answer is George Washington died in 1799. Geoffrey Everest Hinton was born in 1900. So the final answer is no. And as every system, you have to look and verify this. Hinton was born in 1900. Now, if you go to Wikipedia and Jeffrey Everest Hinton, he was born in December 1947. So the answer, it sounds true, no? but in fact, it is wrong. And this is the same with chat GPT, the same with whatever system you have. This large language model with reinforcement learning without human feedback, it is so fascinating because I have to check every sentence. I think this is the right, but this here is a date that is simply wrong. So you see, it is amazing. Now, you can also have here a summarization task. Let's activate this. I say science can ignite new discoveries for our society. Our society has a tendency to refer to an old or the familiar ways of doing things. And we have chaos. This is also part of our society, also increasingly often so. And innovative ways lead to new growth in businesses. And under certain conditions, all of society can participate in this growth. And I say, summarize this for me. So beautiful. Let's do this. Let's have a look at our RAM. We are good. RAM is good. GPU RAM is good. Okay. And here we are. 
So science can ignite new discovery of society, has a tendency to refer to firm doing, cause is also part of our society, increasing often innovation has leads to growing under certain conditions. All of society participates. You would say, well, this is not really, really something. So maybe we go with the temperature a little bit higher. We say, what else can we say? What is safe to modify? Yeah, let's go here a little bit lower. Let's see if the answer is modified. No. This is more or less a repeat. So, no problem. Let's do something else. Let's go here and I tell the system, okay, so a short explanation of machine learning for medical applications. And please, do this for me. So more or less, yeah, you could also write, uh, prepare a short essay or whatever you like. And as you can see here, this is the answer. And the answer here, if you compare it in the length, you know, it's, it's almost identical. And as I said, told you, we gonna take care of this. We so the minimum length is 200, the maximum length is 60. So we go with the number of beams, we're gonna increase to six. Speed temperature, yeah, 150 top. Let's, let's have a look at this. Before, I have beam size 16 normally, but I think we will crash with RAM if we have 16. So up until now, we are stable. Everything's up and running. TPU RAM becomes red. And here we are. This is our answer now to the same question here. But you see the minimum length, we increased to 200 the parameter. The maximum length I set to 600 and so on. Repetition penalty, you can hang a length penalty, you can increase it 1.8, whatever you like. So let's have a look at this very short. It's a branch of computer science, uses computer to learn from data. Medical applications of machine learning include medical image analysis, diagnosis, disease diagnostics and drug discovery, high resolution three-dimensional CT scans, magnetoresonance imaging, Yes, 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 yes. We can train a model to detect breast cancer early rather than choose breast tissue samples. Deep neural network have the benefit they do not require any prior knowledge about the patient's anatomy. Yes, yes, yes. So you see, you can do this free of charge whenever you want, and you can have here your specific text. Now, isn't this great? But you see here now with every question, we got here red and redder. <laughs> so with the next question, my GPU RAM is gonna crash. But at least I showed you that with the new updated version, you can run now in a free Google Colab notebook, Flan T5 XL for one or two task, and then no. So what is the solution? Easy. We say now, instead of floating point 32, we switch to a lower resolution, if you want, floating point 16. How we do this? So we stay with the same model. We stay with Flying T5XL for our tokenizer and for our model. But as you can see here, we say device, device map auto. Of course, we only have one GPU, so yes. Doesn't make any sense at all, but if you have a cluster, beautiful. And then our torch D type is float 16. So beautiful. Since we are already here, GPU RAM absolute top is a disconnect. Thank you. And now we have the pleasure to do this again. Start all over again. Yes, yes, yes. We load our transformers, we load our sentence piece, our accelerator, and this is it. So so now, as I show you here, we are now operating with half a precision of FP floating point 32. And we say again, our tokenizer and our T5 model. And I showed you here, torch, beautiful, let's execute this. And now we write, my text is write a professional essay, short introduction to machine learning, beautiful. And then here again we go. Now you will see, oops, if we look at GPU RAM, that now the RAM density is much lower and we have more headroom to play around a little bit. 
just wait. Again, we have to download, oh yeah, the 10 gigabyte model, sorry. But I think I skip this and I connect with you when we have done all the different loading parameters. So, and we are back. You can see all the files loaded, our 10 gigabyte model, two gigabyte file system. And now you see that our system RAM slowly but steadily is going to increase. I think close to six, seven, eight gigabytes. And we'll do 8.16 gigabytes. But we will do exactly the same question like before. Can Joffrey Ernest Everest Hinton have a conversation with George Washington, give the rational before answering. And you remember last time we had one uh, year wrong in the answer. And now if we half here the numerical mathematical precision with which we operate our matrix multiplication, I'm really interested what kind of answer we get. And before we do this, I started here write a professional essay about a short introduction to machine learning. So here we go. What's minimum length was two, maximum token size 624. And this is the answer by the system. Short introduction to machine learning is a branch of computer science, deals with the problem of finding pattern in a large amount of unstructured data and then using these patterns to make predictions about what will happen in the future. Different types, such as neural network, deep learning, We'll look at neural network. Is an artificial network? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Doesn't get more common. It sounds reasonable. So, but now the interesting part is let's have a clear question and let's have and that plan T5 XL shows us the way how it argues. It simulates to argue. So here we go. Jeffrey Ernest is a fictional character. <laughs> oh, wow. While George Washington is an actual figure, George Washington was the president of the state of America. The answer is no, he cannot have a conversation because he doesn't live at the same. Now, he doesn't live at the same time. This is the correct angle, but uh, Hinton is a fictional character. Where were Jeffrey Everest Hinton here? Seems to me like a real person. So you see, you get amazing answers by large language models. And this is the fun. I mean, I spent double the time checking the answer of a chat GPT or of a flying T5, then doing the programming and then asking the system. And I think any student who gets anything back, they have to check every single word. It is so amazing. So you see, whatever you get back, it is highly interested. I would say it's a very creative answer. Okay, you know, FP16, FP32, XL, I say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you can use it for your own purpose. I hope you enjoyed this and I see you in my next video.